was left with the static that she came around and he told me right then and there, he says, Eliza, you need to be a doctor. You need to be a doctor. I just laughed and said, no, I don't have the schooling, I don't have the education. I don't have the buckler. So for the next year or so, Dr. Smith brought out every medical book that he could find. He had some shipped in from San Francisco, and he coached me. As we worked alongside, he even let me sit in on a couple of surgeries to test my sturdiness against the side of blood. Apparently I passed, because when I was 22 years old, he encouraged me to apply to Cooper College in San Francisco. It's a long ways from home. But Dr. Smith had every confidence in me. And I did apply, and he helped me write my admissions letters. And I was accepted. I and four other female students were going to go through the doctor's program at Cooper College. You see, Cooper College went on to become a little known place of Stanford Medical College. Leland Stanford, railroad tycoon at the time and governor of California, set aside a tract of land so that this college could be built because he had lost his son to typhoid two years before because there weren't enough doctors to see everybody that got sick during that pandemic and his very own beloved son died. And right then and there, Governor Stanford decided, I'm going to open up a medical school and train as many doctors that I can for the wilds of the West so that nobody has to die. I went to school, 